Kingdom of Asturias, recapitulation of previous episodes. So before we begin the next episode, here are a few recapitulations and facts from the previous ones. The Iberian Peninsula has been ruled by the Visigothic kings for over centuries, until a civil war broke up and the Umayyad Caliphate and the Moors being invited by one of the Visigothic nobles involved in the conflict to invade Iberia, which was already being raided, culminating in the destruction of the kingdom. Eventually forming as a bastion of resistance, the kingdom of Asturias in the north of the peninsula. After a while, the Umayyad Caliphate suffered of overextension and imploded in itself, waging war and raids on all its borders with the Third Fatima and the Abbasids uprising and dealing with Berbers revolts in North Africa, the Umayyad Caliphate collapsed and the Abbasids came to power placing the Muslim world in a t -t titanic turmoil for a few decades. The Battle of the Nobles in 740 AD, as was called, essentially saw many Umayyad noblemen and the Lich cavalry units being murdered by the Berbers. But eventually the Emirate of Cordoba established by a surviving Umayyad prince would be made in Iberia, despite the tragic loss in North Africa. With the internal strife of the Muslim world, Afonso, the first king of Asturias, was able with scorched earth tactics to depopulate surrounding areas across the Asturias region and expand the realm further into places like Galicia. All this was but the beginning of the Reconquista. Kingdom of Asturias, Fruella the First and Aurelius. Fruella the first of Asturias at the beginning of his reign dealt with a Basque people uprising take a noble woman named Munina, who he later married. Or according to the familiar ties, a Uzo marriage alliance was renewed between their families, interpreted in the Asturias court as a diplomatic victory over the independent Basque duchy. Or a much needed collaboration between the two houses to reduce a succeeding faction of the Alaves Basques risking a defection of these to the Banu Kazi down in the Ebro Valley. The Basques will be a place of much skirmish and wrestle between the Asturias and the future rivaling competitor in the region. The Banu Kazi were a powerful client Muslim faction that emerged from the Umayyad fragmentation. They were of Visigoth origin, which had converted to Islam and became a client state of the Caliphate during the Iberia occupation, driving in spreading of rivalries between other noble houses of the Caliphate and alliances of convenience with other regional dynasties, constantly intermarrying with nobles of both, both Christian and Muslim nobles, for quite a while paying regular tributes to the Umayyads of Cordoba. The Muslims would just two years during the reign of Fruella, the first of Asturias, lose its last bastion north of Pyrenees, in Gaul. It would be in Arbonne to pep in the short. The siege would take seven years to finally su succeed itself. Meanwhile, Abdi ar Rama, the first survival prince of the Umayyad dynasty, having defeated Yusuf al Firi outside of Cordoba and having escaped the Abbasids, would proclaim himself as the Emir of Cordoba, rallying the majority of the support of the Muslim population in Iberia on his favor, and gradually conquering other Muslim principalities that emerged with the collapse of the Umayyad. The Emirate of Cordoba would become for the next few centuries the dominant power in the region. Fruella first, meanwhile, during his reign, founded the city of Oviedo, when he, along with his uncle Frostemano and Abbot Maximo, erected a church of St. Vicente, keeping good relations with the church. Fruella first eventually assassinated his brother, Vimerano, possibly for rumors of conspiracy against his kingdom. With the noble wrestlers, he named Bermudo, son of his brother, as his successor. Unfortunately, plot, a plot was formed against him, which ended on with his assassination in Cangas de Ones, with his cousin Aurelius being raised to the throne instead. The bodies of Fruella and his wife Munia are interred in the cathedral of Oviedo. Aurelius of Asturias was crowned in summer at the city of Langreo. His reign was relatively quiet and peaceful. And the only large event that happened in his reign was the rebellion of serfs, which Aurelius put down. 
Although the region, although it is the first recorded surf rebellion in the history of Iberia. It is believed that according to the custom of the times, he negotiated peace with the Muslims, who dominated the lands out to his south by an exchange of brides, which according to the legends led to the place named El Entrego, nowadays the heart of the municipality of San Martín del Rey Aurelio. It would appear that his principal residence and the effective capital of Asturias during his reign was the municipality of San Martín del Rey Aurelio. Then part of Langreo. Having reigned six years and dying of natural causes, he was succeeded by his cousin in law, Silo, husband of Alfonso, first daughter of Adolcinda. The realm of Asturias gained in the previous years much more territory in comparison to the isolation that previously suffered, yet remained cautious in how to proceed with such expansions. As its low population forced the Alfonso I to mass migrate people at the region surrounding Asturias back to the mountains, and creating the populated zones in the surrounding vicinity. However, with the fragmentation of the Umayyad Caliphate, it was not the only power rising at the Iberian Peninsula. Many other competitors were also on the rise, ready to dispute with Asturias for the same. The most powerful among them, an old and well-known rival to the Asturians, the Umayyad Emirate of Cordoba, was on its rise and the mountains would be for the kingdom of Asturias its shield against this new and emerging threat, which was consolidating its power among all the smaller Muslim fields to itself. However, it was not only the south that would be a concern for the Asturians. Eventually, the east would also provide competitors of a more similar scale to the Asturians. And eventually, even the Atlantic Ocean would also provide to the Asturians and as well all the local Christian nobilities a challenge to its regional.